Endometriosis is a common source of pelvic pain and infertility, and 75% of women who have pain with their periods have some evidence of endometriosis. Hi, I'm Dr. John Petrosa. I'm a reproductive surgeon, the chief of reproductive medicine in IVF at Mass General. So what is endometriosis? It's a condition where the endometrium, the tissue that lines the uterus or the womb, grows outside the uterus in other areas. Most commonly, those areas are the ovaries, fallopian tubes, or the tissue lining the pelvis. This tissue acts the same way as the tissue inside the uterus. With each menstrual cycle, it thickens, then breaks down and bleeds if you don't get pregnant. But for some reason, this menstrual fluid and tissue isn't removed from the body in a normal way. Rarely, it can grow in other areas outside the pelvis, like the lungs. An associated condition is adenomyosis, where the lining grows inside the muscle of the uterus rather than outside it. In the ovaries, this blood and tissue can cause ovarian cysts, and in other areas, it can cause scar tissue or adhesions, which make tissues or organs stick together. Endometriosis can be very painful, especially during menstrual periods, and can also cause infertility. So who's at risk? We aren't sure the exact causes, but we do know that because we see this in reproductive aged women, the hormone estrogen may play a big role. Other risk factors include a family history, if you have a short menstrual cycle or longer than normal period, or if you started your period at a young age, you've never given birth, or you're in your 30s and 40s. So what are the symptoms? Common symptoms are painful periods with pelvic pain, cramping, or lower back or abdominal pain. It can also cause pain during sex, bowel movements, or urination, or bleeding between periods. It can also cause fatigue, bloating, diarrhea, constipation, or nausea, especially during your period. People with endometriosis often describe the pain as much worse than a normal period. Endometriosis is sometimes mistaken for other conditions like ovarian cysts or irritable bowel syndrome, IBS. If you're experiencing these symptoms, you shouldn't have to put up with them. Talk with your healthcare provider, especially if they interfere with your daily life. So let's, let's talk about treatment. Since it's a progressive disease, it's important to get evaluated by a healthcare provider. Many people don't seek treatment thinking they just have to bear with the pain. A pain that doesn't respond to medications or pain that's getting worse needs to be evaluated. Most patients manage it easily with very simple medications. However, your treatment often depends on how severe your symptoms are and whether you want to become pregnant. Your doctor may start off with pain relievers and hormone therapies like birth control pills or a hormonal IUD if you're not trying to get pregnant. If you want to become pregnant, your doctor may remove the endometriosis tissue through surgery. For those patients who are suffering with infertility due to endometriosis, fertility treatments can also be helpful. If you're successful in getting pregnant, the pregnancy itself will help mitigate the disease and its symptoms. Listen, it's important to know that you don't get endometriosis because of something you do, and while it can cause complications, it doesn't necessarily mean that it will lead to cancer or that you won't be able to get pregnant. I'm Dr. John Petrosa. For more understanding videos, click here, and don't forget to subscribe.